Hey guys, it's Shantrinas and I am back with another video. So I am doing some wearable unicorn makeup today and I hope you guys love it. So NYX has this new thing where it's an eye and eyebrow pencil and I'm using the color purple slash violet. It works pretty good. They do have a ton of colors too so I would highly recommend those for anyone looking to cover their eyebrows. And next I'm going to be using this darker purple eyeliner. I don't know what shade this is because the writing is all smudged off of my pencil. I must have had this for a little bit but it's just a dark purple. Okay, and then next I'm going in with my NYX Ultimate Brights eyeshadow palette and taking the lightest lilac purple there and using that in the front of my eyebrows. And then going in with the darker purple that I showed you there on the ends of my eyebrows to kind of give an ombre brow. So I'm using the Shade Tape Concealer from Tarte and using that to correct any little mistakes that I might have done with my eyebrows and I'm in the color deep for this. Okay, so off camera I applied my primer. I'm Right now I'm using the Tarte Poreless Primer. It's a mattifying primer. I love this thing. It used to be called something else like the 24 hour primer or something and then they changed it to the mattifying poreless. And I'm obsessed. I've been using this thing for months now and I'm like in love with it. So after using my Tarte Poreless Primer, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color orange and using this to color correct any dark circles on my face, um, well dark spots. So I'm taking the color R530 in the Makeup Forever HD foundation and I know it's darker than my skin tone but I just like to use it um, because this is the closest that I can get to my skin tone. And then going in with my Shape Tape Concealer in the color Deep and using that to highlight. So I highlight underneath my eyes and then I go on my jawline, above my lip, um, on my nose and then on my forehead. So I'm using the Real Technique sponge to blend out my makeup and I'm a huge fan of the sponge. I love it a lot more than the Beauty Blender, mainly because the Beauty Blender is $20, this one is $5, and I feel like this one is a lot softer too, so if anyone hasn't tried it yet, I'd highly recommend it. So Ruby Kisses has an amazing face contouring cream and this is the level 16. You can also use this as a foundation but right now I'm using it as a cream contour. I haven't tried them as an all over face foundation but I like it a lot as a contouring cream. So again level 16. I'm setting my face with the La Mercier Loose Translucent Powder and just using that under my eye, basically everywhere that I use my highlighter. So 
so off camera I use my Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eyeshadow primer. This one is my favorite eyeshadow primer. I haven't used anything other than this one for almost a year I want to say and it's never failed me. I love this thing. So next I'm taking my Kara ESO2 35 color eyeshadow palette in that lighter shade of purple there. I'm using that in my crease and just blending that out with a blending eyeshadow brush. Next I'm going to go in with a darker purple. This is the Lexi 231 small taper blending brush and the same eyeshadow palette as before. I'm pretty much just going to be using this eyeshadow palette. I tried not to use too many different products. And going in with the purple shade here, just using that on the outer corners of my eye. And then I'm gonna go over top of that with the darker purple again after I've blended it out with that Morphe M518 brush. And then I'm going right on the center of my eyelid with this really pretty light pink shade. And I'm doing the same thing to the bottom lash line by the way, so I'll take my lighter purple, use that, um, and smudge it underneath my eye, and then go in with the darker purple and kind of smudge that in underneath my eye as well. Next I'm lining my waterline with this Starlux Amethyst Eye Pencil. So this is a really pretty silver purple shade. So here's the eye glazing that I was talking about earlier. It is gorgeous and it this doesn't even do it justice. It looks so pretty in person. If you haven't tried it yet, I would highly suggest going to your local Ulta or somewhere that sells Water London and checking it out. Next, I'm taking my Razor Sharp Longwear Urban Decay Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Bump. It's just the white eyeliner, and using that only in the outer of a portion of my eye. Um, I didn't want to do a full wing, I just thought it looked cuter just as a crustal wing. And then going and putting those three dots right in my nose bridge area. So my highlight is the Nicole Glow Kit from Anastasia in the color Forever Lit in my inner corner and highlight on my brow bone. On my cheeks, I'm wearing the color Glow Getta. So I'm using Kat Von D Love Lipstick um, as a base for this next product that I'm using. I'm using the Tattoo Junkie Grunge Lip Effect. It's basically a powder that you use on top of lipstick to help it kind of give a holographic feel. So I hope you guys love the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.